So I come to Burnbeck Pier where Dan proposed to me a week and a day after he passed away. I can't believe how many ups and downs there have been. Um, I've been really angry some days, excruciatingly sad other days. And not fine, but okay some days. I think knowing that you're surrounded by lovely, amazing and incredible people helps a lot. Um, today I saw Ben and Noah and Lynn and it was crazy. Ben and I were just looking after Noah for ages and playing with him. Um, although we knew it was coming, nothing could really prepare you for how you're going to feel. Um, speaking to one of Dan and I's really good friends, Sam, she says she keeps going to text him and speaking to Emma, she is heartbroken as well. And um, it's weird in this day and age especially, we do talk to each other all the time through text on the phone, in person, all the time. And when that person goes, you still almost expect to be able to text them. It sounds really silly. But I think, talking just for myself here, it is comforting to know that he doesn't have to go to any more hospital appointments. He hasn't got to have more really horrific treatment and he's not in pain anymore which is amazing when I started to go through some of the things at our house he had a lot of medication and I was looking at it all thinking this stuff kept you just okay and if he forgot to take a tablet or change a patch, he was in excruciating pain. And I can't even begin to imagine living like that. I'm glad I got to call in my husband. And I've met so many amazing people through him. And now, even when I'm alone, I don't feel alone. it feels like someone's always there. When I was playing with Noah in the garden last Sunday, a little white feather fell and I just thought that was really sweet and whether you believe in anything like that or not, I thought it was a real comfort. So for anyone going through a really hard time and for everyone that Dan helped, I hope we all can continue to help each other get through whatever this crazy, insane, but amazing life it is. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. I just wanted to get some stuff down. Um, thank you. <laughs>